Still I Rise is one of Maya Angelou's best loved and commonly studied poems. The poem inspires self-confidence during the most difficult moments in one's life, and an appreciation for unique personal beauty and strength even when others are trying to put you down. Since it was written, Still I Rise has come to embody what many readers think of when they consider Maya Angelou's verse. Before delving into the complexities of Angelou's Still I Rise, let's take note of the key information about this poem. Throughout, Angelou engages with the themes of self-love and perseverance. She uses a determined tone in all of her lines, but the final two stanzas are somewhat more celebratory. The speaker is very sure of herself, what she feels about herself, and her lack of interest in other people's opinions. The poem is composed of nine quatrains, or nine sets of four lines. It follows a pattern of A, B, C, B, with the first seven stanzas following the pattern more exactly, and the final two stanzas being somewhat looser in their rhyme scheme. Still I Rise is a nine stanza poem. The first seven stanzas use the perfect A, B, C, B pattern, like we're about to see in the first stanza. The final two stanzas use a looser pattern of A, B, C, B, with more half rhymes. The poet uses literary devices like repetition, imagery, anaphora, metaphor, and juxtaposition. The poet also chose to compose this poem in the first-person point of view. This means she uses first-person pronouns like I, me, and my. Her first seven stanzas are determined and confrontational, with the final two stanzas being more celebratory and accepting. Still I Rise can be summarized in a few lines that broadly describe what the poem is about. It is an inspirational poem that's based around Angelou's experiences as a black woman in America. It celebrates individuality and all body types, especially in the face of hardship. The famous opening lines of Still I Rise demonstrate Angelou's style and tone. She wrote, You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. You can see the perfect rhyme scheme in the first four lines, which follow a pattern of A, B, C, B, with the words lies and rise rhyming perfectly. Let's spend a few minutes digging into these opening lines and annotating Angelou's various poetic choices. The poem begins with the two lines, you may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. In this first line, Angelou cuts it off before its conclusion. This is a literary device known as enjambment. It encourages readers to move fluidly through the text and is often used by writers to control the pace at which a reader moves from line to line. By using it here, Angelou is able to convey a sense of confidence. Her speaker doesn't pause to think about what her opinion of your words are. Instead, she accepts from the beginning that people are going to say whatever they want. People will use bitter, twisted lies to get what they want or smear someone they have an issue with. The poet continues her use of enjambment between the third and fourth lines, forcing the reader to the famous fourth line of the poem that reads, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Here, she uses a simile, comparing herself to dust, which rises from the earth and becomes whole again, even when she's struck down with lies and hate. No matter what one does, she'll rise again and continue living her life as she sees fit. Now, for some critical publication information. Still I Rise was published on August 12, 1978 and even today is considered to be one of the greatest poems of the 20th century. It's studied by readers around the world who have a general interest in poetry and who are enrolled in high-level literary education programs. 
Understanding Maya Angelou's personal life is helpful when analyzing many of her poems. Maya Angelou was born in April of 1928 in St. Louis, Missouri. Her full birth name was Marguerite Ann Johnson. The name she'd come to use, Maya, came from her brother, Bailey Jr. It's a combination of Maya and sister. Throughout her life, Maya Angelou worked as a memoirist, poet, and civil rights activist. She published seven autobiographies, three books of essays, and many volumes of poetry. Her career lasted more than 50 years before her death in May of 2014. If you enjoyed this analysis of Still I Rise and the background information on Maya Angelou, visit poemanalysis.com for more. Poem Analysis is your go-to resource for everything you need to know about poetry. We have resources to help you understand poems, poets, literary devices, and so much more. Plus, it's all free to use.